This is the brand new VW Multivan. We're going to test out this big old baby today, take it to the beach, have some lunch, meet some mates. You come in. It might look a bit like your average workhorse, but this is no ordinary van. The Volkswagen Multivan could be the most versatile vehicle you can buy today. And we're going to find out why. It's got new underpinnings and clever features like sliding, swiveling seats and all sorts of weird furniture inside. And that sounds like fun. But what's it like to actually live with? I'm not going to lie. There's a part of me that feels a little bit like a soccer mom with all the seats in the back. Gotta get my kids to the game on time. Michael, quit hitting your sister. That kind of thing. That's how I feel while I'm driving this. So yes, this feels quite vanny to drive, but it's not as kind of wallowy as other people carrier vans that I've driven before. You can get a plug-in hybrid version of this, but this version is kind of the everyman multivan. We've got a 1.5 litre turbocharged four pot. It's got 134 brake horsepower and it's fine. Like it doesn't feel slow or anything. So yeah, it'll do 0 to 62 in around 12.2 seconds. It's got a top speed of 113 mile an hour. But this isn't the sort of car or the sort of vehicle or the sort of van that you particularly want to drive quickly. So when you do take it on an A road, I mean, we're only going 40 mile an hour, but eventually when we'll pick up speed, it does get a little bit noisy. That's probably because of the shape of the front. So there's no streamlinedness to this vehicle at all. It's like it's headbutting the wind. So with this being such a big vehicle, and with it being a petrol, I expected it to be less efficient than this. I mean, VW are saying you'll get around 34 miles per gallon. Since I've been driving it, I've got 29.3 miles per gallon to be specific. 29.4, 29.4. But that's not horrendous. I was expecting it to be a muscle. 29.5. Yes. So all of that is jolly good, but what's the multivan like to spend time in? The setup here is so easy to follow. I mean, it's taken from a golf. So the digital dials here is literally just like, this is how fast you're going. You are in drive. This is your miles per gallon, done. Don't get me started on this. Me and VW have fallen out a few times over their uh, infotainment systems and their climate controls. I'm not a fan of touchy slideys. And you need twiddly things to twiddle on. But again, we've got wireless Apple CarPlay and stuff. That's fine. Oh, and this is like the most basic model you can get, by the way. So as you step up, this will become touch sensitive. Uh, you can get like a panoramic sunroof and all that kind of stuff included. Actually, the auto box is pretty decent. It changes gear when I would want to change gear. Oh, I do have to mention the gear selector, because it's quite weird. I got in the van and I went, oh, because I instantly wanted to reach for a manual, but there is no manual option for this. But instead, the gear selectors are here at the front. Oh, look at that, 30 miles per gallon. I am driving so efficiently. I'm having a lovely day. So this car replaces the VW Caravelle, which was van based. Uh, this is now going to be the thing that goes forward, the multivan. Now it's based on the MQB platform, which kind of makes underpinnings for like the Cooper Formentor, VW Golf, etc. So in theory, it should elevate this more than the Caravelle. You should be seeing more of these around. I mean, it's called a multivan for a reason, because it can do multi things. It can do multi, multi, multiple things. <laughs> Mul multiple things. Right, in a bit, I'm gonna really put the multivan to the test by having a barbecue on the beach with some mates. But first up, I need to get some supplies. Do not judge me, but my concentration tongue will come out. I've missed that. Oh no, I've ruined it. I've done a really bad job of that. Oh. That's it. That's fine. There's definitely not a queue of cars waiting for me to park that. Busy? Right. There's a tip. Don't have anyone park behind you when you open this thing because that is wide. And see, the thing is, it's like if I have more shopping, then I can move the seats. Shall I move some of them now? And I'll give you an idea. Look at that! Oh God, do you want my shopping? I'll show you it properly when I get to the beach. That's fine, that's fine. Right, 
Let's go. We're going to go to the beach now. It's such a beach kind of vehicle, isn't it? I hope that they're good at barbecues because um, I'm really bad at barbecuing. Fancy a tour? Come with me. I mean, obviously, it's the size of a van. The thing is absolutely blooming huge. I do wish that we had the two-tone version because I have seen some where it's like orange down here and then white on the top. I just think they look a little bit nicer. But I like the tinted windows as you come towards the back. And then this boot. I mean, it's huge. Let me move my shop in. If I show you these seats properly now. That's going to fly away. I'll put that. That's fine. These should. Oh, look at that. What does this do? That does that. This one slide? That slides. Facts and figures. When you remove all of the seats, because you can actually take them out, you've got 3,672 litres of space. Or if you go for the longer wheelbase, then it's 4,005 litres, just in case you were wondering. Apparently, we can turn these around and twist these around and all that sort of stuff. I might have to go around the side. Oh, hello, fancy seeing you here. So, <laughs> in here, you have cubbies for days. Cubbies down here. Adorable little bin, like the smallest little cutest bin. Cubbies, 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 cubbies. There's my Diet Coke in there, don't need to see that. So much space for storage and things. And also the leg room in here is just incredible. As a passenger, I mean, you've got all of this space in here. So this thing is the table that kind of pops up and opens out, but I think because the tracks kind of go along the middle, I think this can move to the middle. Should we find out? There's a button that says push, I'm going to push it. Push. <laughs> push? Is that just a... Oh? Right. So what I want to, I want to know quickly just how you move this back and forwards. What's that? That's a, another cubby. How do you lift that? Push. Push. <laughs> Am I being an idiot? Push! <sighs> oh, actually that's quite cool, isn't it? Right, so I'm going to save this and have this up for when everyone's around for the... Food. How do I put it back down again? Push! Push. Oh! Ah! Ah! There's also a thing down here that says push. Press! What does that do then? Is that in case you drop something in it? I don't think that's a bin. No, no, no. no. <laughs> they might drop it in their by accident though, so you can fetch it. I don't understand. That, that's all. Right, I need to figure out how to turn these chairs around. Oh, higher spec models. All of these seats are heated, by the way. And you get like gesture opening sliding doors. We've got the base spec model, so it doesn't quite have all of the snazzy stuff. Here's a lever, let's pull it. That does that, okay. Let's get rid of them for a sec. Of course. Red lever means I... That went quite far back, didn't it? I think I need to pull them out that way and then they all come out that out the back rather than out of the side <laughs> let's do that red one they're surely they're important red means important doesn't it that's a, another cubby <laughs> how do i get these things out right right come on now oh 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 yes Oh. Get down there. Even though I'm doing this, and then I'm going to... We'll keep them for deck chairs. Yes! Oh. Okay. So then you can have this forward, and then we can have a nice little four-seat dinner thing going on here. <laughs> Good. That can be that can be uh, Ethan's chair. Ah! And through the magic of television, here it is completed. Ta-da! You have probably noticed that the the seats that were facing backwards aren't there anymore. That's because I couldn't figure it out. So check 
check the manual, went on VW website, and it says you can do it. It says you can turn the seat around and have them set up so that you can have four people facing each other, but I'm wondering if it just doesn't work in this one. Because we've noticed that the seat belts are here, so then you wouldn't be able to drive with the seats backwards, because they won't be able to wear their seat belts. So maybe, maybe it's just not possible. So I've set up a romantic table for two, is what I've done. Lovely. Right, I'm going to get prepping. While I'm um, setting the table, it's worth mentioning that there are four handy USB ports in the back. And if you can actually figure out how everything works, it's actually a really clever space back there. You can use it for pretty much anything, thanks to those nifty rails in the floor. Right, on with the barbecue. Actually, this is so handy. Throw it correctly. I don't know how to light a barbecue. You know what? You know how to do it. You can. I want to light that paper. I want to light the paper with something that lights things. That's not going to light, is it? Sure, guys. Did you want to put some music on? Could do. This one doesn't have Harman Kardon, so it's not going to sound Oh, does it not? No. What we've learned today is you have to step up through the specs to get the better version. Mm -hmm. I don't think that would have made much change to the barbecue lighting, though. How, I barbecued those burgers. Did you? Yeah. How did you do the chips? <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming to my mm. barbecue mm. at the beach. Yeah, thanks for these, Nick. These are, mm. these are great. <laughs> it's a really lovely um, social way of eating isn't it mm, mm, good it is. are you comfy back there huh? <laughs> <laughs> what a successful day we've had mm. Mm. it's been nice it's been nice 